Hi guys, it's Cassie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my plan with me for March 12th through March 18th. And before we get started, I'm going to show you what last week looked like. And I know I didn't have a lot of stuff written down when I ended my plan with me last week, but this is how it turned out. And I really liked um, all of the white space. Um, so, you know, I was able to see everything. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I wouldn't necessarily, I would necessarily choose this again. I really like having the full boxes in the middle. Um, but, you know, I was able to try something new and I didn't necessarily like it. So, you know, it, it just worked out. It worked out in the end. And, you know, a week goes by so quickly in a planner that you don't need to have every week be perfect. So, so this is the week we're going to be planning for. And I'm going to be using um, Planner Kate's um, Happy Patty Day kit. So here's the full box, half box sheet. And I'm using the Hourly Personal Sampler. And I also purchased this cute little... Um, sheet of deco to use because um, Saturday is St. Patrick's Day. So, <laughs> um, let's get started. I'm going to put down my full boxes and I do have an episode of Riverdale on Wednesday so I'm going to make sure I put a whited out box on that day. So I hope everyone's weekend is going um, swimmingly. I'm filming this on Sunday, so Sunday, March 11th, and my weekend has been fairly uneventful. Um, I haven't really been home the last couple of, I mean, we were home last weekend, but I didn't feel well. So like truly for three weekends, I didn't do a lot in my house. And so this weekend I pulled everything out of our bedroom, like I um, took the mattresses off the bed frame and moved the bed frame and just cleaned everything because I don't know about you, but I find that eventually the house just feels stale and especially since I live in a cold climate that um, we don't have the windows open and you, it's like right around this time of the year where I just am so desperate for some relief. Oh shoot, I'm talking and I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, I'm just so desperate from, you know, all the time spent indoors from winter that I just need something, something. So I cleaned everything. Um, my husband has been suffering from fairly bad allergies, so um, we also thought that maybe um, all of the dust in the bedroom was causing him to suffer. So I don't know. We'll we'll see. He said he slept better last night than he had in previous nights, but I went to town on cleaning and we got a new um, we got him a new pillow to help with the the dust and the dander from our cats and today I have to go to the hardware store to I want to get a really heavy duty furnace filter and hope that that continuously helps and then I also think I want to purchase from Amazon like a room like another air filter sort of thing from Amazon but it's like small and portable that you just plug in and it sucks the air in and um, releases clean air I don't know what you call that but that's what I would like to do my cat is staring at me I think he's Thanks. Why are you talking to yourself, Mom? So, 
Okay, so my full boxes are down and my planner's all over the place. There. Much better. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's gonna cuddle with me. Yeah. I, had, I don't know if you can hear him, but he coos a lot. Don't you? Okay, so I'm going to put down my uh, checklists. He's also an 18 pound cat. So when he wants to cuddle, he kind of <laughs> makes himself known and kind of pushes himself around. So. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so almost done with checklists. So, I don't know what else has been going on. Um, I think I told you guys that we can't wear jeans to work, which is, um, some people are acting like that is the end of the world. I don't necessarily agree with how the administration went about implementing it, because I think they could have done more of a slow roll. Um, you know, maybe start telling people this school year, because, I mean, it's March, and we've got April, May, June, so really three and a half more months until this school year is over, and then people will be gone for the summer, so they could have started telling people, like, hey, we're going to not let you guys wear jeans starting in September, or when people come back in the middle of August, like start buying dress pants now. Because that was a, a big thing is a lot of people don't have the um, extra income to go out and buy more clothing. So I don't know. It'll be interesting. That's all I have to say. Okay, so I'm... I forgot to put down my bottom washi, so I'm going to do that quick. I'm just lucky that I have the extra income so that I, you know, can go buy pants or a new shirt. Um, but I think a lot of people forget that, you know, we are... Like, we don't have any kids, so we can, we can do that. Whereas I think people who have kids are, they have a little bit more of a tighter budget. And, you know, why buy clothes for yourself when your child, who is, you know, however old he is, is going to be growing out of his clothes within six months so why do I have to go buy more clothing for myself when my kid is going to be desperately needing it in six months I, so I don't know we're having a staff meeting on Tuesday and I'm hoping that they um they explain themselves and kind of we figure it out together as a building, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, okay, so Monday, I have this video going live. So, I'm going to take one of these half boxes. I'm going to stick this up here. And then I'm going to take. A checklist and I'm going to cut um, so I do Twitter Facebook Instagram Instagram stories so cut one of those dots off and stick it on the edge there so that and then I'm going to pull, let's 
see. I am going to pull a film slate sticker. I'm going to do this very, very light pink in the corner. Okay, so that's for this video going up. Um, and then I also have dinner with a friend of mine. Um, let's see. I'm going to take a quarter box. I think I'm going to do this more flowery quarter box and stick that there along with the spork the spork the sp spoon and fork icon and that's going to signify dinner at her house and then third or tuesday i am babysitting her kids so i'm going to do I'm going to do a half box, I think, because that is going to take, I'm pretty sure, all night. I'm going to use the house icon for that because I'm going over to her house. Let's see, on the 13th, I have a credit card payment due. So I'm going to reach into my little um, sampler. Thing and pull out. I use the pink bill due. Stick that on the bottom, like that. Okay, so Wednesday, um, I'm gonna put the icon, the TV icon, up in my whited out full box for Riverdale. Then I have a video, another video, Okay, I think that's it for Wednesday. So Thursday, um, I have another video going up. So I think I'm going to take this green stripey box. Actually, no, I'm going to take this. I don't know, kind of geometric design and use that because my last checklist is green and so that'll pop a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to cut one of those off and plop that down. Okay, good enough. And then another, <clears throat> I'm going to use another pink film slate to signify my video. Okay. Um, so that's video. And then my husband is going to drill on Thursday. So I am going to use I'm going to use a pink appointment label and then I'm going to use the car and let's see the car is green and I think I'm going to use a green M initial sticker. 
surface of the car, it can go in the space, on the M, go right next to it. And then I'll just write drill. And he'll come back on Sunday. And then I'm leaving Friday to go to my parents' house for the weekend. And then I also have a work lunch brunch. No, not a lunch brunch. A lunch potluck. Um, so, where did my other sheet go? Oh, duh, it's right in front of my face. Okay, so for the work thing, I'm going to choose I think I'm just going to choose one of these plain event stickers and I'm going to choose this lighter green. Oh shoot, but my icon is. Okay, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna just put that on my coil. I'm going to use why don't I use one of these? I'll use this one, the one that I was gonna use before. To signify my work. Hot luck. I'll do that in the corner and then I'm going home so I'm going to use going home. So I'm going to be home until Sunday. So St. Patrick's Day is Saturday, so I'm going to use this half box to mark that. And I'm going to use some deco from my deco sheet. So I think I'm going to use, hmm, I think I'm going to use this little pot of gold and one of these smaller clovers. on Saturday and then Sunday ooh. Sunday I'm driving back so I'm going to use a light green appointment label in the morning <clears throat> to signify coming back and then I'm going to use one of these darker green maybe if it will go down to signify 
pores. So I'm going to throw that at the end. And then I need to film a video. So I'm going to take one of these um, nice patterned quarter boxes. And, ooh, it's really off. So this will be for filming and let's see my film stickers, I'll do a dark green one for filming. Okay, put that back on here. Um, and then I'm not sure what I want to use for my weekend banner. I might use, I know it doesn't necessarily go. I might just center that a little bit more. Maybe St. Patty's Day. And then to put a little cute little shamrock there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna, ooh, I have to do my sidebar. Let me pull this up. Dark green, pink. And light green, and we'll do to do. to go and to call and then up in this upper corner I'm going to use one of these my like more limey green circle um, I've been counting down to spring break and it is actually next week and I'm so excited because we're actually um, we're going on a vacation so I think that is it um, I'm gonna use some more deco So I think this might be it. So thanks so much for watching my video, guys. Um, if you could give me a thumbs up to let me know if you liked this or not. And please subscribe to my channel. So thanks again, guys. Bye.